You're about to hear the most informative, inspirational, persuasive show in America, the James A. Hendrick School of Leadership. Finally, after five takes, we get something done here. <laughs> Welcome to Public Affairs Thursday. I'm J.R. Hendrickson for Jimmy. He's getting ready to fly back from uh, Utah tomorrow. No figure let's say Friday because, well, he's going to be in the air. We're going to do we're going to do public affairs Tuesday, and there's this story I'm just burned to talk about. Okay, want you to listen to this from CBN News. Bless their hearts, I love them to pieces, but not on this account. The Republican Party has radically changed. Once the party of Ronald Reagan, the GOP is now far from the Gipper's ideals. Next week, Republican candidates will gather at Reagan's presidential library for their second debate. CBN's David Brody takes a closer look at the party's march from Reaganism to populism. The last time Republicans debated in Simi Valley, participants included then-candidate Donald Trump, one of the reasons the GOP is no longer considered the party of Reagan. Today... A populist movement is rising in the Republican Party. Former VP and presidential candidate Mike Pence prefers a return to those days of Reagan conservatism and opposes Trump's version of today's GOP. In the days to come, will we be the party of conservatism? Or will we follow the siren song of populism unmoored to conservative principles? Milk toast. To, to think that a news source that claims to be conservative would, would turn to a turncoat like uh, Mike Pence. Uh, they, they got it all wrong. They got it all wrong because I'll tell you something. Trump is conservative. There is no doubt in my mind. He's pro-life. Okay? So, so maybe he opposes the, the heartbeat bill. Let me ask you something. Do you think he as president can do anything about that? I think that should be a state matter. Alright? Now, I'm opposed to, to abortion of all forms, okay? But we, 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 we can praise God that the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. And we, we might as well just stick with that. Otherwise, them liberals are going to ask for another mile. We, I, that's one reason why Jimmy and I are no longer Republican. Because this is, this is intolerable. And this is, this is milk toast. Alright? If this is the recipe that the rest of the party wants to defeat Biden, I'm afraid we may be sadly mistaken. I mean, look. How many of these candidates for presidents are, are career politicians? How about we get a, that, that businessman back in the White House making the difference in the world? And you see, there you go. There's some, some milk toast in the Republican Party tr- trying to say that Trump is abandoning the conservative. Come on. It's, it's, like, it's, it's almost like 2015, 2016, all, all over again. Never Trumpers in, in the Republican Party I gotta be honest with you, they're, they're, right now they're as bad as Democrats. Alright, we're gonna cover some more news, or shall I say, noise. Alright. Here's, uh. I'm trying to keep it more on a national bill. Sometimes it's not that easy. Here's one I like. Federal court rules uh, Christian teachers can't be forced to lie to parents 
about kids' gender confusion. That's pretty sad. You know, federal government can't force him. You know, it's just like this. A federal judge has ruled in favor of two Christian teachers who refuse to uh, uphold their school's policy that required staff to lie to parents and hide students' gender confusion. You know, I gotta say this, all right? Gender confusion didn't start becoming a damn problem till the 1990s. And guess who got that thing started? Bill and Hillary Clinton. Oh, old Slick Willie. I can imagine about 20, 28 years ago, he sat sitting there around the White House thinking to himself, Well, you know, Heather has two mommies is a good book. And you know, Hillary is marching for, for women and gays rights, so I don't see that there's a problem. I mean, come on. How stupid and idiotic can we be to stoop to this? I'm glad that the federal court did that. A parent has the right to know if their kid is gender, gender confused in hopes that they settle them straight. Since when does the government right have a right to, to, to say the kid's gender, gender confused force them to have that sex change operation? I mean, come on. What, are we trying to play God? We've been trying to play God as a top politic for 20 years. I gotta say, old JR gets tired of that. You know what? Because here's the thing. All this, all these, uh, as, as the liberals like to call us, the binary people. Well, isn't it true what God said in the Bible? God created us in the image, in his image. In his image, God created he them. Male and female created he them. Oh, but J.R., it's okay to be trans. But they are, it's okay. Really? God made Adam and Eve, not Adam and Bruce, and not uh, Adam and Eve made into Billy, or Eve and Adam made into, Steph made into Stephanie. Come on. Wake up, folks. This, this is laughable. This noise that's going on this here in this country. It's, it's enough to make old Jarrah's blood boil. Let me tell you something. Reminds me of that old country song by this underground country singer. I don't necessarily agree with him about everything. But there's this one country song I want you to check out on YouTube. And it's called Tampons in the Boys' Rooms. And, 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 and. State government said women are doing that stupid to do that. Where well, it has to be tampons in the boys' room. What are you going to use it for? Change the oil in your truck? Wipe your wood? <laughs> you got to forgive old JR. He can be pretty blunt. But I tell you something. I'm blunt for a reason. We cannot violate God's laws. Period. End of story. Sorry about the faux pas. Hope you enjoy. Please become a part of the James A. Hendricks School of Leadership Classroom. Until next time, keep up your hope. Please keep up your hope. Keep up your faith. Camp this month every day. Jesus saves and I'm okay. And know this. Jesus. This Jesus saves and we're all going to be okay. Take care and be politely informed. God bless you. Remember this. Y'all love you. Really love you. Y'all take care now, you hear?